Wall Street skidded again on oil today. The Dow, S&P 500, and NASDAQ all took major hits as a global glut in oil supply and low demand for fuel sent stock prices plummeting. Millions of people under lockdown are not driving to work, and they're not flying. Janet Shamley now on the spiraling financial fallout. As oil prices crashed, the pain was sharpest in West Texas. I've never seen anything shut off so quickly. Uh, you know, it's you literally wake up Monday morning and the industry is shutting down. Midland and the Permian Basin are responsible for a third of U.S. oil production. It's gone from boom to bust. A restaurant is now a food pantry. Food and thousands, like oil field worker Chris Doki, have been laid off. That's pretty devastating. I, I have four kids here at home, um, all real young ages, and um, I'm the sole breadwinner of the house. That's a heavy burden. Four children under the age of seven. It is something that weighs on me and um, just got to keep the faith that, you know, something's going to pan out. With planes parked and roads empty, there's a glut of oil. Gas is cheap, but there's nowhere to go. The plummeting oil prices reflect the nation's economic freefall. Unemployment is nearing an historic 18 percent. An estimated 22 million people have lost their jobs the past month. Hertz among the latest to announce layoffs, almost 10,000 people, a third of its U.S. workforce. Thank you. The depth of need is staggering. The Los Angeles school system is serving more than 500,000 meals a day. And in New York, at two separate food banks, long lines and expressions of gratitude. It releases a lot of stress because you don't know when the food is coming and when your money's coming. So many people in that same situation. And that's why this United Airlines cargo facility has been turned into a food distribution center. The people you see all around me, they are pilots, flight attendants, ramp workers, agents, volunteers all. While they're grounded, they're partnering with the Houston Food Bank to try to get meals to the people in this community who need them. Nora? United in the desire to help others. Thank you, Janet.